Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a handbag collection and somewhat storage video. Um, basically this is how I've been storing the majority of my handbags. Um, some of them are up there in the closet, some I've got in that closet. Um, and for a pretty small space, I think I figured out a decent enough way to store them, but uh, if you've got any ideas for me, I think that's really why I'm doing this video is because I have so many and I'm going to try and declutter some, but really a lot of it is um, just I don't know how to store them and to keep good, them in good shape and good care. These two closet made holders are from either Walmart or Amazon. I think I probably got one from either place. Um, those baskets are from the Christmas tree shop like a really long time ago, like years and years and years ago, and I've just repurposed them. That tall bin up there that holds some of my bags um, is from Target, I believe, uh, a bunch of years ago. Um, these retail for about $12 a pop, so they're not very expensive, and they, they hold a lot. Um, so I'm going to go into my overall collection. I'm going to try and declutter while I'm at it. Um, I'm going to go through handbags that are smaller that I don't necessarily use anymore as well as uh, totes and more like practical work everyday kind of bags and then end with my favorite higher end um, designer bags. Um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I've been watching a lot of these videos on YouTube lately so that's another reason why I really want to do this. Um, kind of share what I've collected over the years and more like hoarded over the years and refused to get rid of um, as well as declutter some and yeah so I hope you enjoy. As I go set this up to film the cat has taken over the bed where I was going to do this video so I'm gonna have to move him. Oops. I know Bubba life is hard being a cat. Um, I have a ridiculous, oops, a ridiculous long chomp, not long chomp, that's not the word, La Sport Sack purse collection from middle school, and I can't get myself to get rid of them. I tell myself I'll give them to my kids one day, and like, these, it's like gonna be a throwback to 2005 and 6 and 2007. If you see the camera moving, it's because the tripod yeah. is being messed with by the little cat. Um, this is the first. Uh, I don't think this was the first one that I ever got, but when Filene's basement, for those of you New Yorkers, um, let me see if I can get that into frame, uh, was open, I would go with my friends and it was a big deal. We would go shopping and get these like really um, well discounted bags um, and La Sports Act was one of those brands that everyone had these little mini purses which technically I could use as like a clutch inside of a bag now or like a catch-all which I probably should start doing to to justify keeping the amount that I have of these but I absolutely love these bags this is also about when eBay first started becoming pretty popular um, so I started going on eBay and getting uh, pre-loved ones. This one is definitely my favorite. I remember taking this to many a school dance, um, and we would carry these around to carry our lunch money in when we would go out for lunch every day. Uh, this is just the cutest little pattern. <laughs> uh, it's got, like, rock star aliens, um, and these are actually pretty functional. I mean, they don't hold, they hold quite a bit, actually, but, like, they've got a little pocket. Um, I don't know, you could probably fit quite a bit in there, a wallet, keys, all the necessities. So I don't really know why I don't use this as a pouch in my um, actual tote bags, which I probably should start doing and probably will. So there's that one. Um, I also have this one, which I got, but I remember not really loving it that much and not using it as much um, or for as long. There's a pair of probably Claire's earrings inside. Oh, no, a bracelet inside, uh, which definitely tells you how old these are. Here's another one of those little sport sack bags. I mean, this is absurd how many I have, um, but they really are quite functional. Um, and this one, I remember, I think this one was my first one. Um, I just love this pattern. It's so fun and cheerful and cute. Yeah. Um, these definitely still sell something very similar to these, even if it's not this exact uh, type of bag. So that's my little sport sack collection I guess um this bag oh my god throwing it back 
I had a friend. Let me move these out of the way. I had a friend who had this bag. This Juicy Couture velvet barrel bag. It is the stunning apple green Juicy Couture item. Um, and I fell in love. It's got this leather heart on the back. Um, I love, if you watched my um, small handbag accessory video, you'll know that this color combination, navy and like light green, neon apple, whatever you want to call it, green, is like my absolute favorite color combination. Um, and I think it probably started with this bag, but I was obsessed with this bag that my friend had. And obviously I was very young and didn't have a job and didn't, couldn't afford it on my own. Um, and I never forgot it. And then a couple of years later when I was in high school and I started working, I went on eBay and I was just like, maybe I'll find it. Maybe the handbag gods will be there and I'll find that bag that I'm dreaming of. I did. <laughs> and I bought it. And I love it. I, I don't use it anymore, which is probably apparent because of how smushed it is. Um, but I do really love it. It's this beautiful velvet. Uh, it has the juicy, it, more of the memories, I think. Uh, I used it a lot in high school. It's got this little uh, key pouch in the side that says shop, which I always thought was cute. It's got the big chunky J. Um, the only flaw I think about this bag is like how short the handle is, but at the time, like, that's what these bags were. Like, that was not a it was a shoulder bag time the Britney Spears era like it was a very popular style uh, it's got this woven leather in the chain um, and I just I'll never get rid of this I love this so much and it was probably like my first like designer bag um, yeah and I just love it um, I have some other things here that you probably won't even care about but this is my first purse ever ever um, when I was in LA when I was very very little it used to have a cloth or a yarn chain um, and I carried this everywhere with me. I felt so grown up having a little purse, and so it's like sequins and everything, and I just love it. Um, this is a little handbag that I got when I was in Russia, um, so it has a lot of great memories. I just couldn't pass it up. It was so cute. I was probably in seventh grade, so obviously I don't declutter ever. I just keep things. Um, this purse, again, like these are so dated. It's ridiculous. Um, this bag I remember having at my eighth grade graduation, um, and it holds a lot of memories, special memories for me. It was a very special night. Uh, I had a very hard time leaving the school that I was in. It was my favorite place in the world, and. Um, you're probably rolling your eyes like, how can school be your favorite place? But it really was. I was there 11 years, and um, I loved it. So this graduation bag, um, I remember feeling very grown up. It matched my shoes, and I was going into high school. It was very exciting. It doesn't really hold very much. Um, I stayed over at a friend's house that night, and I think the movie ticket might still be in here that we went to see the next day. Not just a Band-Aid. Oh, two Band-Aids, because probably my shoes were so uncomfortable that night. Um, and I've worn it since then, but not any time recently. So this, I probably should get rid of. I don't even remember where I got it. Probably Harry's basement. Um... Does anyone else remember that story? Leave a comment below or like, give me a thumbs up if you, if you remember that story because it really was great. Um, this bag, I, again, I don't know where I got these and I really should get rid of them because they're so old. But like, I remember taking this to the beach one time. This better not be sand on my bed. Uh, it's just a corduroy navy bag with this like embroidered ribbon um, with a paisley interior. I don't know, it's really cute. Um, and then this one, when Little Black Bag, sorry, uh, when Little Black Bag was a thing, um, I think Elle Fowler or Blair Fowler really got me into Little Black Bag. Um, and I found this and I was so excited because it was so pretty and I haven't used it probably more than five times but I'm in love with it still it is so cute it is this sequined colorful sequined pouch from a brand called deluxe um, it's got this beautiful navy ribbon which uh, to be quite honest I probably would take off if I were to use again <laughs> Um, it's got this beautiful gold circular uh, zipper and then the lining is so pretty I clearly have not used it very much but I absolutely adore this and I will never get rid of it because it's so pretty and cute and fun and I just adore it um, so if I can find a link to something similar to that I will because those colors man those colors are quite pretty. Um, all right, moving on to some more some bigger bags that I don't use. This is a clutch that I love. I think I got it for prom. 
So again, it's really, really old. I have a hair tie that I've never worn in it. I did not get it for prom. I lied because I got this in London, which was way after prom. Um, when I was studying abroad in London, this is a Atmosphere Primark brand. Um, it has this, I, I wore it to the theater a lot there, I think, uh, without the strap, but it has a gunmetal strap. Um, and I just really liked the color of this. It doesn't hold very much, but I liked the color. I liked the bow. I'm sure it was Ted Baker inspired with this bow. Um, but it's just a really nice, solid clutch. And um, yeah, I really like this piece. This cutie pie, look at this color. How gorgeous is this color? <laughs> um, let's see if I can turn you a little bit. You can't even tell, it's coming up more purple on camera, but this is a Celine inspired bag from Daily Look. Um, you can't really fit much in the front. I mean, you can fit a card pocket, or a card, I guess, in this pocket. Uh, but it's just this really beautiful color. I used it a lot when I got it. It's got this like microfiber lining, um, a slip pocket, a crossbody strap, and it's just kind of a, a bucket bag. You can do the the flaps out like that if you want more space um and I really just love this bag I don't use it as much as I should for it being so freaking adorable but this one is very similar it is a gray daily look Celine inspired bag um it's this beautiful pebbled leather you can definitely fit more in this pocket it's got gold hardware I can, again, link something similar if I find it. I mean, there's Celine inspired bags everywhere. This one's from a brand called MMS. And another daily look bag that I definitely use more often um, is this beautiful Chanel inspired gray-ish taupe um, flat bag. You just turn the clasp and you've got, um, there's a sort of tight pocket there. Again, it's from that brand called MMS or MMS from Jade's Daily Look. Um, it's got a little pocket there. Obviously this is not your best made uh, replica, but I thought it was pretty and really enjoyed using it. Now, before I show you one of my favorite bags, um, my rec one of my favorite Rebecca Minkoffs, um, I had purchased this. I remember going with my mom to Forever 21 and falling in love with this bag in high school thinking I was going to wear it to prom because this was the color of my nail polish um, at prom and I just love it like to this day I love this color it's adorable um, it's got this beautiful gold hardware again it's from forever 21 like it's so inexpensive and yeah it's so it's so beautiful I love this um, it's got this uh, leather woven chain again that you can use it can be worn crossbody it can be worn over the shoulder i love this bag and i thought i would never find a different bag um that i really wanted that was a rebecca minkoff in the same color with silver hardware um and i was just like you know what i need to get this because i don't think i'll ever get my hands on the other one and i used it to death and i love it and it's still in wonderful condition and yeah there's that um, again, another Primark purchase is this adorable, uh, sort of harder leather crossbody. Uh, it's got this really cute thing. I feel like there's a designer bag that, like, is very similar in terms of the closure that this was inspired by. But again, I got it when I was in London at Primark. It was probably, like, four pounds, um, which would have equaled, like, six dollars. US. Um, it's got this pocket in the front, it's got this small little space, a chain, and you just close it like that. Uh, so I did a lot of shopping when I lived in London, but um, I got this beautiful suede tassel bag. It was definitely higher price than most Forever 21 items were at that point. Um, and it's just this little crossbody. It's got a very, very, very long strap. Um, so, but I really love it and I think it's beautiful and it's kind of this chocolatey brown that's got like a gray undertone and I just think it's really beautiful. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. Um, but yeah, I really love that bag. I use that a lot. Um, another daily look item um, 
is this bag this I don't use as much and I probably should sell but honestly it is so well made like I would not say that if I didn't think it was true it is very a very well made bag stop it do not bite that that is a purse we don't bite purses anyway can I help you he's like I want to be the star of this video mommy this bag needs you to get off of it do you see this nonsense do you see this nonsense get your booty out of my face if any of you have a cat you know the struggle they think they own the place great so we're just gonna do this with his tail in the way it's got this gold clasp it's sort of like a messenger bag um, it's got the long strap inside it's got a zip pocket it's got two slip pockets it's oh it's not from daily look it's from just fab that's what it is um, and I really I, it's the only just fab bag that I bought that I liked that I kept um, but I really do like it and I really wish I had more use for it I just don't so I think I'm gonna have to oh it's got this nice zipper pocket on the back too um, but I think I'm gonna have to give this one away because I just don't use it and it doesn't really make sense to keep it if I don't use it doesn't have a lot of sentimental value but it's very pretty whatever another little black bag purchase is this Steve Matt I don't know why I never take these clear things off I don't I I'm just get too lazy I guess but um, is this Steve Madden clutch and I have used this a lot contrary to that, <laughs> what that is saying I have used this quite a bit it's it's really nice it's just this magnetic opening we gotta fix that. there we go um, and it's just kind of like this big opening that you can just go all the way down. Like there's my hand all the way at the bottom. It's just a big envelope clutch. Not very unstandard, but I love the color. It's Steve Madden, little black bag. If I can find it on eBay or if I can find it, um, something similar, I will link it. I love these studs because while they are pointy and stuff, they're not the normal, typical, like, square stud. It's like a round or one, which I just really enjoy. Uh, I think that's really unique and special. And again, another Steve Madden little black bag purchase. I love this one. I love this color. It's berry uh, with these, the same rounded uh, studs that are gold. You just open it up. It's got this really nice interior pattern. Um, and it's got this beautiful gold chain. It's just really a nice bag. Um, I used it a lot before I got my Rebecca Minkoff um, Mini Mac in a maroon berryish color, um, which I've kind of replaced this with, but I do love it. I do think it's pretty and I don't feel ready to say goodbye. <laughs> um, this boy, again, a Primark purchase that I love. Um, it's just, I'm really not good at this. It's just an envelope clutch. Uh, obviously I took it to the globe because I have a globe magnet or bookmark here. Um, it's got a zipper compartment. It's very basic. It's very slim, but you can still fit a lot in. It's got this nice kind of large chain. Um, not sure what this one's about. Was that to like hook? I don't know. Uh, but I do really like this bag, so I'm not getting rid of this one. But I think it looks really classy, like unusual looking. Um, this color is just beautiful. This bag, my boyfriend makes fun of me because I love this bag. I never use it, and I should get rid of it. But when this first came out, I searched high and low for this bag. It was called the Cupcake Bag on Mod Cloth. They sold it on Daily Look. I finally found it and I love it it's so fun I wish that like I had more occasions where I could wear this too but as a first grade teacher like I don't <laughs> um, but it's just really fun it's so colorful it's so lively and like I guess you could wear it to like a beach or if you're on vacation like I just don't go on vacation very much um, my idea of vacation is like sleeping in bed um, it's got this brown interior with another woven rope chain um and it's just really pretty i just uh i wish i had more use for this i don't but i'm keeping it because one day i hope that i get to wear it 
and serve my boyfriend wrong. Again, Primark bag. Used it every single day when I was in London. I would use it to go to school. I would use it uh, to go to shows. I definitely took it to the Globe a bunch of times. It's like this really soft, baggy material. It's this pretty gray color, sort of a pebble gray. Oliver loves to eat it. Like, like I, I wish I could show you this, but I'm worried that if I turn it, the tripod will just, there you go. Look at this. What is this? That is not a kitty bag. Let go. Hey. Great. So there's that. And now he's pissed. Oh, he's going to go for it. Whatever. Okay. Now, last but not least, is literally the bag that I use the most out of any of my handbags ever. Like, honestly, this color is gorgeous. It's brown, but it's got like this reddish, purplish undertone. It is stunning. And... Hey. I have fond memories of getting it. My friend got one in blue. We were in Italy at some market, and this guy was like walking around saying like, oh, you guys are looking for handbags, whatever. And we were looking, and I was like, that color is so beautiful, but I don't need another bag. Oliver, stop. But I don't need another bag. Like, and he took out a lighter, and he was like, it's genuine leather. Want to see why? And I was like, no, not really. But he showed me anyway. He took out a lighter, and he like lit this on fire, and nothing happened. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but like, it looks good, and I love that color. I might as well get it. The only thing I didn't like was this tassel. I'm not a huge tassel person. However, it's grown on me. Whatever. It's the best bag ever. It's got this front part, which I don't really utilize very often anymore, but it's like a nice suede -ish feeling interior. You can tell how loved it is. It's a little beat up, whatever. It's still gorgeous. It's still extremely soft. It's not, it didn't darken much. I've worn it in the rain and things. Um, I went to see a production of King Lear the other day, and so that's why this is in there. Um, and an umbrella but it holds so much it doesn't look like it what is that I don't know it doesn't look like it but it really does it holds so much it's got this little pocket that I don't use for anything it's got this pocket don't use for anything it's got an adjustable strap a magnetic clasp and my favorite part probably like the thing that I look for the most in bags now because of this bag is a slip pocket on the back or a zip pocket that I can stick my phone in that's closer to me than it is to like the rest of the world that could like you know take my phone not that I worry about that in New York City or anything if you're ever in a market in Rome and you see this bag it's not that expensive but it is the most used piece in my collection definitely worth it I searched high and low for this little gem. I saw it on a favorites of Allison Marie, I think she is. I don't remember her name. I'll see if I can link that video down below. It's a Madewell bag. And I think it probably took like four years for me to track this down. Maybe not four, maybe that's excessive. Maybe like two years. I called every Madewell outlet. I called every J. Crew outlet. I looked on eBay, I looked on Parshmark. Poshmark, thread up, anything, you name it, I would have done anything for this bag because I thought it was stunning. And I do, I, I still do, I still love this bag, I'm never letting go of it. Like, I think it's beautiful, it's got this lovely detail of triangles, it's this little clasp opening. Um, this was a, I forgot what they're called, like, basically it was one that was in, um, that was never sold. It was from an outlet or something, and so we got some date on it. I don't even care. I love this bag. It's got this lovely little striped navy interior lining with an adjustable shoulder strap. Can be worn crossbody, can be worn on your shoulder. Anything, you name it, love this bag. Gorgeous. Highly recommend if you can find it. There's also one that's very similar that's a bucket bag that's really pretty that has the same pattern, same color, and everything. But... Honestly, this gem, I will never get rid of. Um, this bag is a more recent, but also very commonly used purchase. The leather is so soft. Yes, Fiora Bradley coming out with leather. I love it. I will just say, for those of you who are like three tannish, brownish bags, are you crazy? Girl, lighter tan, redder tan, chocolate brown totally different. This is how I'm justifying my life. I'm lying. There's no justification for this nonsense. I need help. <laughs> um, this is the saddle bag, I think, 
look I'll link it below they have a bunch of different colors don't pay full price go to the outlet wait for a sale all I'm gonna say their leather is beautiful it's well made it will last forever I'm sure because Vera Bradley is made to last forever however they're expensive and I for a bag this big that's not necessarily like a luxury designer item I would not pay full price as worth it as it is you can get it on sale so just wait um, or on eBay but like just wait it's got this beautiful like sort of matted satin that makes no sense that's contradictory but like I don't know it's shiny but it's also like not too shiny uh, sort of brass clasp thing it's got this adorable lining that a lot of their leather pieces have um, it is a magnetic closure it is RFID protected it's got three one two yeah three card slots a zipper pocket in the back a the leather thing on the gold chain um, you can wear crossbody if you would like it's also got a lovely Again, what I said in my last video about looking for something with a slip pocket in the back, ba bam, slip pocket in the back with a magnetic closure. How awesome! Loving this bag, honestly, so pretty. It's got the Vera Bradley stamp on the back. I I use it all the time when I'm just going out, when I'm going out at night. Like it, it's very versatile. You can use it for anything. Love it. Great. Moving on. So the bag I was talking about before, which is probably the most special bag to me, um, is really my first, like, as a handbag lover, my first designer bag. Um, and I got it for Valentine's Day from my boyfriend, um, my freshman year of college. And it is this beautiful Rebecca Minkoff mint green silver hardware mini Mac. I use this to death and it's pretty it's held up pretty well I mean this is I think I got this in 2013 and it really is great I don't usually close these just because I use it for easy access to my phone because it doesn't have the thing on the back so I usually put my phone in here and leave it open or like zip this but leave this open um, it's got the beautiful polka dot interior, the dust bags inside of it. I still have the card in it. It's got two slip pockets on that side and then just one big pocket. I, you'll see, I love the Mini Mac. I use them all the time. This is my favorite. It has the most sentimental value to me. It means so much that he surprised me with it because he knew how much I wanted it. Um, and I, I was so shocked. I had no idea that he was getting it for me and it was just the sweetest thing. Um, and I got the color I wanted like I didn't even told him he just knew like oh, it was so sweet I love this bag never getting rid of it moving on um, Again another bag that I'm never getting rid of and I love which I was saying was the one that replaced my Steve Madden is the actual uh, Rebecca Minkoff Mac bag um, Again beautiful hardware love it. I love that. It's like a really soft kind of like distressed leather distress isn't the right word, but like I don't know. I don't remember what color. I think it's called wine. Um, and again, it's got this blue interior. Gorgeous. It's a little bit bigger than this one. I still use this one more, but like, it's probably about an inch longer. And like, yeah, like an inch longer and maybe an inch and a half taller. But like, honestly, this fits so much. I love them both. I think they're both gorgeous. I have a serious problem when it comes to Mini Max. When I was in London, again, most of these bags are impulse purchases in London, I went to a market, a street market, and they had this one. And I was like, oh my god, it's taupe and rose gold. And that's the one I was looking for because Fleur de Force had it and just hauled it. And I was like, that is so gorgeous. If I had money, I would go to the store and buy it now. I found it at a fair, a market, for 20 pounds. 20 pounds that's like $30 gorgeous love it and what I didn't notice about this one is that it's different it's got this um I'm just noticing this now I wonder if any of the other ones have this it's got a pointy uh thing it's like a s spear I didn't notice that that's really cool um 
yeah, it's got the Rebecca Mink off on the zipper. It's beautiful rose gold hardware. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that, but look at that. I didn't even notice that. So cool. So awesome. Love it. My last mini Mac, which is also a more recent purchase. I guess this has the spear too. I'm just going to call it a spear because why not? Um, I'm going to take this chain off. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I love this color combination. This navy is gorgeous. I think it's called Moon. Um, and this one is like a micro suede. I forget what they called it. N something with a like new box suede or something like that. Um, it's this beautiful feeling. It's so well made. It's got this beautiful light gold hardware. Again, it's got that pointy thing, which I hadn't even noticed. It's quilted. Um, and it's just, it's so pretty. It's still got that zip in the front. The pattern on the inside is just black. There's no, like, major pattern, which is a little disappointing just because I love the look of their patterns and how they're so, like, loud and special and unique. Um, but yeah, I do love this bag. I think it's in the color moon. If I can find one similar, I will link it below because this is definitely more recent. Um... <clears throat> My last Rebecca Minkoff is this. I fell in love with this one. Again, this is like that suede feeling patchwork thing on the front, but then on the side it's leather, on the back it's leather. It has the slip that I love. Um, I got this for my birthday from my mom uh, two years ago after wanting it for a really long time. I forgot what this uh, is called, oh, it does kind of have a pattern, you just can't really see it, it's black on black, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, it's got like chevron, um, the love crossbody, I think, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what I can find, something similar, um, uh, but again, I just love this pattern, it kind of looks denim, but it's not, um, this part is also that beautiful suede, uh, it's got two slip pockets, a zip pocket, the dust bag, oh, gorgeous love 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 those are my favorites and like I will never get rid of bags speaking of which this is more of a tote we're moving into totes in a second Kate Spade bag don't remember what kind this is again another one that I searched for when I was student teaching in college one of the teachers at the school had this bag and I searched everywhere, high and low, to see if I could find this bag on eBay or on Poshmark. Finally found it on Poshmark. It was a steal. Beautiful bag. I use it all the time. Uh, probably my second Kate Spade favorite bag. Um, I just, I love it. It's great. Uh, the only thing is I wish the handles were a little longer. It can be worn over the shoulder, but I just wish they were a little bit longer. Um, and it's got just like this canvasy inside. Sorry for the gross zip lock in there um clearly I use it big zip pouch two slip pockets quarters not included um it's just a great bag it's got this like I don't know what's that called like not concave that's the other way like semicircle type look to it which is awesome this one I didn't include in my other bags um but again I love this pattern of Vera Bradley it's a limited edition I believe one Christmas um the Scotty dog pattern and this is the all-in-one crossbody phone fits in there tight but it fits um ID card one two three five pockets on each side plus these two this is great uh, I used it a lot when I was in college it also has this pocket in the back whoops where it has place for cash and more change and more papers and stuff like that and it's a full crossbody or a wristlet it comes with both uh highly recommend for a college student or if you're uh someone who doesn't carry a lot with you and just kind of want like a wallet on the chain um this is great i'll link something similar to this below i know they don't have this in pattern anymore but i will link what i can below uh, moving on to tote bags first bag was a gift from my mom for graduation i haven't used it yet and when I say graduation, I mean graduation two years ago. But it's this Joy in Maine bag. Um, let me see if I can. 
lift this up because these are going to be harder to do. It's got a bunch of pockets. It's got these two slip pockets right here. A giant pouch. I think this place is mostly for your laptop. I don't know if that's true. It's got a bunch of slots. It's got this, which also... Um, clearly I haven't used this. It's got this little zip pouch. I don't know what that would be for. Uh, this pouch, this pouch, this pouch, all in one zip. Another pou area. Another slip pouch. Another area. Two more slip pouches. A larger one for an umbrella or water or something. This really is a really nice bag. It comes with its own mirror. Like, what? Um, this pocket. A flashlight, just in case you're lost. And its flashlight has its own little pouch. How cute is that? Um, yeah, this is a nice bag. There's a back pocket, zip pocket. Didn't know that. Should start using this. For sure. This upcoming school year, I will be using this bag. <laughs> I've decided. It's really nice. Um, so there's that. Another bag that I don't use. My boyfriend will kill me because when I bought this bag, he said, you will never use this bag. When Primark came to America, we traveled. Me and my friend Molly and my boyfriend traveled all the way to New Jersey from New York, which was like a three-hour, thirty-dollar trip, um, to get to Primark because we love Primark. Um, and I bought this bag, thinking I would use it for student teaching, thinking I would use it for teaching when I became a teacher. I did not use it for student teaching, and I have not used it as a teacher. Um, but I really, I thought something was really special about this bag. It's a Saffiano leather feel. It's probably just plastic. I don't know. But, I don't know. I just thought it was, like, kind of sophisticated. And, like, look at that pattern. It even picks up really nice on camera. Um, it's really stiff. I don't think it's leather. I've decided. Um, and it's just this big empty bucket. But, I don't know. Guys, it's really pretty. And I don't want to get rid of it because one day I'm going to use it and... I know I say that about a lot of things, but, like, guys, it's so pretty. Whatever. Moving on. This Michael Kors bag. I don't know what this is called. My friend gave it to me, but it's awesome. It's heavy, though, so I probably won't use it very much. Again, it's got a ridiculous amount of pockets. Each one of these three pockets, one, two, three, has three slip pockets on it. What? Yes, Michael Kors. Another pocket, another pocket, another pocket, more pockets, and a D-ring. What? What? That is gorgeous. I also, she gave me a matching wallet, too. I should probably, like, use that, too. I have a problem. I have a bag problem. I'm admitting it. Uh, some Vera Bradley totes. This one I used in college a lot. Um, the only thing I don't love about it is the leather straps. I wish it was the other kind of straps because those are much more comfortable. But it has, it has stuff in it. Um, but it's huge. You can't even tell because of the lighting. Uh, it's huge. And it has six pockets around the whole thing. The pockets are huge. It's got a slip pocket on this side. It's got a zip pocket on this side. And it's a huge tote bag. It is fantastic. Love your Bradley. Speaking of, another Vera Bradley, this is going to turn into a Vera Bradley tote haul, or, or tote collection, it's ridiculous, I have so many. Um, this one is their classic Vera bag, the newer kind with the zip top, not the toggle on the top. Again, beautiful pattern, love it, it has two pockets in the front, um, just, it's gorgeous, this beautiful pattern on the inside, I forgot what this pattern is called, I will link everything in the description box below. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Great. The bag that's the same exact bag that I use every single day for work. Ta-da! This, um, Vera Bradley Vera bag. Again, same thing. It's got smaller quilting. It's got a zip pocket on the outside. It's got this headphone thing. Slip pocket on the other side. It also has nothing. Um, but it has this pocket that I didn't know about until the last day of school in June and I was like what is that and why is it there is there a hole in my bag no it's a pocket what Vera Bradley um this has a lot of stuff in it too but like 
you can see it's got this beautiful interior. Um, I've got some packing tape and some cards, some binder clips that were a gift. Um, but really, honestly, used it every single day this year. Teachers, this bag is everything. It holds your computer, it holds binders, it holds paperwork, it holds lunch. I mean, th there's a pocket for everything. It's Mary Poppins bag. It really is. It's a wonderful purchase. I cannot recommend this highly enough for teachers, for people who go to work and commute every day who need to take things with them, but don't want to carry a huge heavy bag because it doesn't look big. It looks very nice on. It's got very long straps that are sturdy and don't hurt your shoulder. And it comes in a variety of colors, but the pattern on the inside is very wee. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's very lively and bright and it makes you happy. However, it doesn't look huge and it's not heavy. Like, and it looks professional. Like, it really does. I mean, I, this is beat up. It's been to every classroom. Like, but really, honestly, teachers, this bag is the one. This is the one. It's great. Um, let's just stick with Vera Bradley while we're at it. This one is the, not the Vera tote. This is the, I don't remember what tote. But it's in the cupcake print. I know that. Um, it's this beautiful pink one. It's got shorter straps than the other one. It is quite small, but it has a zip pocket, a slip pocket, and um, six pockets inside. Oh, Oliver, I found a spring. Oliver. There's springs in here. Um, yeah. It's really a, a, nice, a nice piece. I use this a lot in college as well. Um, I don't think it fits a computer. I might be wrong about that. Um, but I don't think a 13-inch computer fits in there. Not 100% sure. Um, next two bags. Going back to my Longchamp date. Not Longchamp. Why do I keep doing that? Going back to my Sport sack days. Um, I definitely got these in high school, but I still use them kind of as transport. I use them a lot to take things to and from college. Um, these are just their regular totes. I don't know... If they sell them anymore, I will give it a look and see if I can link anything below. These are also very useful. This one is in, like, the clock pattern. I don't know. It's got pen owls and penguins and clocks and... I don't know. It's very cute. And it has the slip pocket in the front. It's this nylon material, which is really nice to wash. Um, or really nice because it can be washed. It has this pocket in the back. Great bag. Great investment used it for years and it still held up extremely well. I've got another one also got in high school, still use it. It's in this gray cat pattern before I became a crazy cat lady. This is probably where it started. So there's that. Um, last but not least, the sports act is this little guy. Alice in Wonderland favorite print ever definitely not available anymore but I don't even know if the style is available it's like a mini version of those totes I used it to death in eighth grade eighth grade ninth grade tenth grade eleventh grade I used this bag every day loved it it was great um also has a slip pocket did I find money no that would be too nice um used it to death can't recommend with sports sack enough like they're great I've got this tote from Forever 21 that says love and coffee is all you need. Yep. Agree. Here is another Rebecca Minkoff tote. Oh, Bank Street tote from when I was really little. Okay. Um, here's another Rebecca Minkoff tote. I don't use this very much just because the straps are not very long, but it is gorgeous. Um, again, you can't really tell on camera, but it is that um, mint blue color that I love so much. It's Saffiano leather. It's got some nice studs. It does have this pocket in the front, which I love. Um, easy access to things. Um, this I can definitely link below. They definitely still sell things very similar to this, just not in this color or this print. But I do recommend it if you don't mind having short shoulder straps. Um, it can be held on the crook of your arm, but it is kind of heavy. Um, I don't know. I think it's a gorgeous bag and I'm not going to get rid of it, but keep that in mind. It's the weight in mind. Um, back to Kate Spade because she's my jam. Actually, 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, my last two Kate Spade totes. I am in love with these totes. They're so cute. Um, this one again. My only complaint is the shoulder is the length of the strap. Um, you can wear it over your shoulder, but it's not necessarily ideal. Um, the cure for boredom is curiosity. There is no cure for curiosity. Whoops. Let's try that again. The cure for boredom is curiosity. There is no cure for curiosity. Dorothy Parker. Again, if you can't tell, I've always loved navy and green together. Uh, it's got this beautiful striped interior. Um, it's got no pockets or anything inside. It's just kind of a big dump. But, girl, I got so many pouches to stick in there. It doesn't even matter. Um, my favorite and most classy looking business tote ever. I love this bag. I don't even remember what it's called. It is the bee's knees. It is so soft. It is this beautiful black pebbled leather with this giant pocket in front that you can just dump everything that you need easy access to in. It's fantastic. It's got perfect size shoulder straps. It's got a pocket with a Tylenol inside. Um, it's got two slip pockets that I don't really use for anything other than pens. And it fits a computer. It fits your binders. It fits your paperwork. Again, teachers use this all through student teaching. Amazing investment. Love it. If I can find it and figure out what it's called, I will look, see if I can link it below. Um, but I'm serious, guys. Invest in a Kate Spade tote because they hold up forever, especially this kind of leather. They hold up forever. They're, they look so classy and so nice and so expensive. And in the grand scheme of things, it's not the most high-end expensive brand, but it's worth every cent and then some. Like, it really is. Uh, and then I think, honestly, last but not least, are my two Longchamp Le Plage, I don't know how to pronounce that, Le Plage bags, Le Plage. Um, this one is in a, like, green color. I got this one when I was in Italy. Um, I just, I fell in love with the color and we went and I was like, no, I'm not going to spend it. Like, even though the exchange rate is great, like, I'm just not going to buy another one because I already have a black one, but I really do love that color. Um, so then I went back and I bought it. It's the large size. I'm not going to open it, but it is large size and hold everything. It's a great travel bag. Everyone and their mother has it. It's, it's great. Um, and then my first one, which is this one, which I ordered from Bloomingdale's and had like seven coupons and got it for really cheap. Used it to death. It's got like a hole in the bottom. I used it every day this summer working at my summer camp. Like it's just a great bag. Um, again, it's another long, not long large bag um it's got uh the long straps i don't know if they make ones with this long a strap anymore but it's held up fantastic for the amount that i used it. i used it every day in my freshman year of college um it's just it's just a really great piece um and honestly i think that sums up my collection that i have but yeah if you have any questions i'll do my best to link everything below if you have any questions about these items and how i use them and what i use them for and blah 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 um, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up, let me know that you want to know more, and I will be more than happy to do a review on any of these bags, show you a what's in my bag type of thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love watching handbag collection videos. I'm sure this is longer than anybody ever would want to watch, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.